Okay, we well, gotta we have drama. That. The more women, the most women are. I liked it. I'll probably watch it. Miss Fame, Green Goddess. I is that a shoulder. woman or is that a guy? Those aren't shoulder pads, those are her shoulders. <laughs> that is a man. That's a dude. I love the shoulder pad. Those it's gotta be RuPaul's show. Oh, RuPaul, RuPaul, so I'm wearing this cosmic yay! Alien so I'm wearing this cosmic alien galactic green gown. I've got my face painted for the gods. No, I've never seen this show. Valentina, bring me the axe. Oh my. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit ain't got nothing on her. It's fabulous. Yes, mama. <laughs> I am covered in cyan crystals and my beautiful Catherine Delis. She looks pretty. Right they look like a woman. Violet Chachki. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, her waist. Oh, she must have broken her ribs for that. Look at her waist. Ha ha. I'm numb. I'm numb from the waist down, tuck included. I really could die, bitch. I'm giving you real. Oh, my goodness. She's got a smaller waist than Barbie. Oh, boy. Oh, right, Sharon Needles. I like Ooh, that. Sharon eyes. Needles. They always have Those the best names. Oh my oh, God. She's bleeding. How gross. Oh, That's bizarre oh, looking. My goodness. Somebody call wow. a dentist. <laughs> Any more than a dentist. What was I looking at there? Female impersonators. Oh, I love it. I love RuPaul. It's modeling. It's becoming more and more outrageous, as uh, I definitely saw there. That's as outrageous as I've ever seen. Uh, so I try to stay away from watching it. It's a very changing world. I'm a little old-fashioned about this stuff. Get that we have a million channels on TV and we gotta fill them with something. <laughs> I get that, but uh, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. That was a clip from the TV show RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, RuPaul's Race. Drag Race. RuPaul's so funny. I have never seen this particular show. I've seen RuPaul in the past, I think. I think he's hilarious. We're gonna show you a little more in a minute, but everyone you just saw there, they were drag queens. Well, that's what I figured. If you do go to a drag show, they're usually very funny. They have good comedians. So the show has a lot of different elements to it. But we're gonna show you some more clips, even though we can't showcase everything that goes on in the show. I'm, I'm prepared for anything. I'm prepared for some kind of adventure. Today's mini challenge is sponsored by the letter T. Tea. As in, is that all RuPaul? Tea, all shade, hand tea. Oh, I thought I've never in seen RuPaul without a, of dressed up like a man. Burger. Jocelyn Fox, she's so gay, even her ass <laughs> has a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Laganja Estranja, next time you death drop, reverse that and drop dead. <laughs> Miss Darian Lake, you should be arrested for animal cruelty. The way Their expressions are so runway, funny. The way you abuse those kitten heels on the runway is absolutely <laughs> criminal. <laughs> Adore. Oh, it's all very fey. I'm going to say this very slowly so you can understand. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> They are really funny. It doesn't do it for me. They have a lot of in-jokes, I think. Uh, it's kind of cute. Doesn't bother me. In fact, I like all the animation. They have great animation, great color. In the last runway, I was pretty sure I was in the bottom two. Uh-huh. So I brought you up. I felt that you kind of pushed me into you know, just doing my spooky look and that it was irresponsible. Okay, this is okay, this is reality too, television you with the at. behind the scenes stuff. I thought it was kind of sloppy just to Because I told you something that you're good at. <laughs> Peachy? You're an adult. You could have came up to me and said, you know what, I don't want to do this. I was being mm -hmm. realistic. Realistic is bullshit because I picked out a character for you to sit there and do, and you did it great. You obviously won the goddamn challenge. Yeah, this is it's just because, a lot of drama and da 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 yada 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 yada. Because I told you mm. to go in your closet and dig out that goddamn <laughs> gothic look. Ooh! Well, congratulations, you're welcome. Let's have I some drama the here. Pick that out for you. Okay. We well, gotta have drama. That, if you think that I won Sharon, because of, of you, face. you you are wrong. Oh it's God! The talent that gets me to win. Sharon, you know what? You, you are not even on the same level as me. So get the f out of right my face. because oh, you won nothing. Oh, next. Because you won nothing. Your only one look that you got. Diva oh, dudes. I have one Tired ass showgirl. Showgirl. At least I am a showgirl, bitch. Oh. Go, back to Party City. Go back to Party City where you belong. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny to watch. It's great entertainment. <laughs> Talk about guilty pleasures. To me, this is a, a little staged. That's just two people. 
pissed off at each other. I never really got a chance to apologize specifically to you oh, all. Oh, wow, that makeup's amazing. Specifically to you all over the joke that I cracked about eating disorders. Wow. We're That's a, a serious moment, thing, anorexia. Not. This is just such a touchy subject for me because I do probably still have an eating disorder. Oh, sweetheart. And before I left, I promised my mom that I would eat every single day. Mm. It's so hard because sometimes I feel like I'm force feeding myself. Mm. I applaud you guys for opening up because it's touching. in the past, I've it's really touching. A, I've had a deep, deep battle with um, bulimia. Wow. I honestly never thought I'd be able to talk to other drag queens this openly about these issues. Well, I'm glad you got somebody with women. to talk to. It's, it's okay. This is RuPaul's best friend race. This is RuPaul's best group therapy race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see now that they opened up and they have now support each other. And the opposite of the that was that was lovely. That was very handled very well. That the person did apologize for doing it. Through all the other mishmash going on and chaos, something important was did come out. It's very touching that they that they spoke of that. They can bond around it and be honest is is it's wonderful. Good luck. Now it looks like it's a, it looks like a drag show. Don't f it up. <laughs> Shut up and drive. Stretch your stuff. Like Gaga. <laughs> they are so pretty. You can't tell the men. The more women, the most women are. I think they're having fun doing their thing. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with it. I give them credit. They do get lost in the character and what they are portraying, and they're good at it. Really funny. Whoa! <laughs> wow. They look gorgeous. They are entertaining. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're really, really good. I think that's fun. I think the lip syncing is fun. I'm not so interested myself. Uh, I'm older and, you know, but I can see, like, my daughter would love to hear about this. Entertaining, different, nothing in my world that I care to look at, be around, or even think about. But like I say, to each his own, live and let live. They just plain look amazing. And they're so into it, and, and I'm glad they have an audience. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> it's something on TV it makes me happy. So the point of the show is to find the next drag superstar. Okay. They're amazing to watch. This is a show all about celebrating drag. Were drag queens something that you were aware of when you were growing up? Not really. It existed, but there was the closet. Not at all. It was really something that was too freakish for anybody to really come out of the closet with. Not when I was a kid. <laughs> you didn't have that on public television. I danced in musicals when I was younger, and uh, I think around that time in my early 20s, that I became aware that there was that scene. I didn't really become familiar with drag queens until I moved to Europe, where they seemed to be more open and more prevalent. It mentioned about, look at all the pretty girls out there in the middle of the street by the bonfires, and I was told, those are not pretty girls. Very definitely. We had gay uh, clubs, and they, they would do shows. Yes, because on English television shows, a lot of men dress as women. It's part of co comedy. It's part of comedy, so it's not so unusual. Well, a lot of people like the show for how fun and crazy it can be with the big performances and colorful characters. Yeah, they did a good job entertaining. But there are a lot of people who appreciate some of the more serious issues the show has tackled as well, from HIV to eating disorders to transphobia. Do you think it's important for this community to have these type of issues to be discussed on television? Important? Not necessarily. It has a place or not a place. I don't know, it's, it's of no real real importance for me. Absolutely. And and especially when it's something that anybody, no matter who they are, if they have some kind of disorder or something different about them and they're afraid to speak up, if they have their own support group and that helps people out in the viewers, out in the audience, say, oh, I'm not the only one or I'm not alone. 
that's the best it can be. It's important for any community to have issues brought up that are a problem within that community, whether it's online or it's on TV. Myself come from a bullied childhood and a bullied adulthood, and it's affected me. And, uh, you know, so having someone to talk to about it or relating with someone who's gone through something similar, it's good that it's, it's there. So finally, with how popular the show has become, what do you think that the future holds for this show and other shows like this that cover these type of topics that may have been considered taboo years ago? I, th I think it is a too small uh, a field, uh, a census of uh, people that it doesn't need to expand more. I've never heard anyone sit down and discuss uh, RuPaul shows. I think that's a passing fancy. I don't see how anything can be taboo anymore. I mean, everything is all over the place all the time. As long as it's entertaining, we're all going to probably watch, <laughs> you know, and not, I mean, as long as no one's getting hurt. A lot of people accept it now, especially all generations, whether young, old. I'm sure there will be more, but this one was good. I liked it. I'll probably watch it. It'll keep opening up more. This kind of thing is important. Shows like this can help Maybe with the humor and the glamour, it can help open up some of these closed-minded older people, and any people, to the wonderful world of drag. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Subscribe and hit the bell for more shows every week. Love you all. Stay fabulous. Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elders React. And if you guys want to see behind the scenes of Elders React and all the shows we do here at FBE, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Snapchat. We post there all day long when we're shooting. The links are in the description.